fake prank videos or douchebag videos? You decide. <laughs>Like I said in my intro, fake prank video or douchebag video, you decide. What do I mean about that? Well, I'm going to do this video in two parts. Part one, what I believe these videos really to be. Part two, who are these videos influencing and how do outside people perceive the videos? Okay, let's get started with part one. In my opinion, these are not prank videos where you go up and you force yourself to kiss someone. Even though it's all staged, even though it's all these people have agreed to do this, it's still a douchebag thing. It's not a prank. It's like, oh, it really is just a way for these guys to get girls to kiss them. Let's be honest. It's not like, ha, 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 I, for, I, no, 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 not at all. They're going, hey, 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 how can I, how can I trick girls into kissing me and get billions upon billions of views, millions upon billions and millions of views in the process? Oh, I will do it as a prank. No, you're being a douchebag. It's not a prank when you trick someone into kissing you. Even though you, they are agreed to it, it's not a prank. So let's call it like it really is. They're being jackasses, idiots, douchebags, but they're not pranks for crying out loud. And people have got, these people, some people have actually got arrested for pulling this stunt and got in trouble with the cops for not clearing it with them, man, you know. Because remember, in these videos, they only show you what they want you to see. And they never say that it's fake. They never have any disclaimers in these videos, as far as I can see. They don't ever, ever, ever have any disclaimers. It just flat out, here's the video. And then there are a lot of like-minded people that think like, oh, this video is hilarious. Oh, 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 oh. You know, they're, they're having a brain orgasm. So if we're going to be honest, let's be honest, man. They're not pranks. They're people being jackasses and just thinking of ways to get girls to kiss them. So let's go to part two. How does this affect the people viewing these videos? Now, of course, people like my age, I get a look at that and go, really? That's, if, if it is real, it's terrible. If it's fake, it's still not a good thing, man. It doesn't make me want to go out and try it, man. Someone who is over the age of 20, you know, over, from mid-20s, you know, to 30, is less likely to say, oh, yeah, this is a cool video. No. But am I going to leave a negative comment? No, because whether I leave a positive or a negative comment, Guess what? That just gives that person more, le more legitimacy. Gives them like, oh, okay. It just boosts. You're just feeding their ego. You're feeding the ego, man, by giving them any kind of uh, response. So I don't watch them. I don't respond to those channels because going back to what I said earlier, they. Make it so you only see what they want you to see. They don't show you all the no's they've gotten or any people actually slapping them or any trouble that they got with the cops, which some videos have come out later that they did actually did get in trouble with the cops. So how does it affect people under the age of 25 and teenagers? Well, to them, they don't see a fake prank. See, I said the word prank, but I'm, I am using it in this context here, even though in reality it's not a prank and them just being a jackass. But these young, impressionable young men and teenagers, they don't see that. 
all they see is, oh, cool, I can get millions of women to kiss me. Or, oh, it's okay to pinch some girl's ass and, you know, pretend like you're asking for directions. Or it's okay to make someone think that you've killed somebody. Thank goodness we have not seen or heard of anyone actually pulling that stunt, you know, kill the, kill the best friend stunt, and uh, someone winding up in the hospital or winding up six feet under. Thank goodness for that. But, so, along with that, they don't, they don't think about those consequences. They don't think about any consequences to where it could influence somebody who's younger than them, who, yeah, you think, okay, they should get it, that it's, it's fake. But remember, they're young, 13, 14, 50 year olds, they're young, impressionable. Come on, you remember what it's like to be a teenager. You want to fit in. You wanted people to like you, so you would do the stupid jackass things most of the time to fit in. And that's all that they're doing, man. And they're always upping one another, but does it make it, if, even though they're all fake, does it make them right? No, it does not. And they should be required to have a disclaimer in the videos. And some of them, if they're not gonna do that, then leave YouTube. Because frankly, it just sends the wrong message to young men. And then young girls thinking, oh, holy crap, man. Always looking around, make sure that no guys pigeon their ass or trying to force themselves on them to kiss them. Because it also influences them too, the young teenage girls, man. Always being cautious, man, like some, some horny teenage guy, man, is gonna force themselves upon me. So that is my thoughts on these not fake pranks, but these jackass douchebag pranks Say pranks, I meant to say, uh -huh, just test y'all out there, just jackass stupid moves. And just ways to say, hey, how can I make it so I can just kiss random girls? Even though I've got their approval, I want to make it look like I'm just going around and, you know, you've got the approval, man. It's like, hey, how can I make this in money off of it? And then also at the same time, take care of my horny needs and go around and kiss a lot of girls. And trust me, they spend a lot of stories where I say, oh yeah, this and that. So don't, if you're a young lady, don't fall for the trap and don't let someone do that to you. If you're a young man, remember they're fake. These people are being jackasses. Well, that's all I gotta say. This is Max for saying, until next time, thanks for watching and peace out.